Okay, well, hi everyone. How did I cope from the loss of my sister? This is what this video is all about. Okay, so um, there we go. I counted a lot of on sports, right? Workouts. And so this is what I'm talking about today. Oh my goodness. Oh la la. I just finished uh, a 59 minute workout. And uh, yeah, I can really say I'm getting back my groove. I hope that um, it's going to stay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Happy Tuesday, everybody. This is Therapist Mark. I'm not fully back into the Therapist Mark segment. I think I'll start next week. I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping up my formal grief, you know, for the loss of my sister. And today I just want to talk about my coping um, mechanisms, strategies during this grieving period. Of course, one of the most important was working out sports. And um, you're going to see a little clip of uh, my 14 days fitness regimen. I started a 14 days fitness regimen a week before she died. I, I was working out seven days a week for 50 minutes per day on weekdays and 30 minutes on weekends. And um, I was also uh, on, in, on an intermittent fast, 16, 8. And uh, when she died, she died on a Monday morning. I had just finished working out for that Monday morning, 50 minutes. And then um, went to the hospital and did everything and traveled with the cops. I didn't attend the burial because I don't do burials. It's so traumatic for me. So I came back that same Tuesday morning before she was laid to rest. And I walked out that evening for maybe 40 minutes or 35 minutes. That was really like, I, I had to do that to kind of like part of the program and also because it was going to help me at least sleep that night. And you know, when you walk out, especially in the evening, it's like your body is done. It needs that rest. And um, oh my goodness. So every day for 14 days from the 26th of August to the 2nd of August or the 1st of no, not second. Oh my goodness. What am I talking about? To the 7th of August, I think so. Yeah, 7. She died on the 2nd. So the next Monday was the 8th. So yes, until that Sunday, the 20, from the 25th of August to the something like that. Anyway, for 14 days, I did work out. I did lose some inches. I, 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 I did feel good about my results. I gained some muscle weight. So I left from 80.25 to 81 kgs. Man. That's heavy, but um, that's cool. So um, exercise helped me a lot. And uh, what also helped me, you know, connecting, uh, connecting with the universe, you know, just expressing my grief, writing it, reading, you know, crying, doing whatever, you know, other than suppressing the grief and trying to, I don't know what stay strong means, but trying to stay strong. I think I was strong in my own way in that expression. And then... Um, you know, connecting with people who have lost someone, reading like Chimamanda's notes on grief. Um, I also have a big sister who lost her kid sister. And so we would stay in touch. We normally stay in touch often, but we really did stay in touch more connected by this grief. And then um, on pleasant coincidence, my sister died on the same day as my brother in 2014, 2nd of August. And her own kid sister also died on the same day Another sibling had died uh, sometimes in July. So it was really such, it was just so much trauma for both of us. And so we had to kind of hold space for each other, touch base once in a while. Uh, oh my goodness. Anyway, so that was also some some coping. And then uh, my siblings, right? Uh, yeah, touching base with me, you know, um, <laughs> in their own way and stuff like that. Um, social media. Yeah, a lot of support from social media, a lot of support that was really helpful. Uh, I, had, I had gone out of mainstream Facebook to do the two weeks, you know, focus, but, uh, you know, I, I again this time around, God, I said, Father, let me take my grief there. There's usually some support from there, and it can help another person who is grieving to, to kind of like grief, you know, unapologetically. Sometimes people are so stiff old and all of that you know so i did take it to social media and the support was really amazing you know moral support for me is so important uh, financial 
a lot did come in, you know, from 1,000 to 50 to whatever. I was just so grateful for everything. And then, yeah, I also had um, a partner, right? And uh, they were also very supportive emotionally, you know, checking in every now and then, making me laugh. Humor is also good, right? It's not like you want to follow this person into the grave, right? So once in a while, you can laugh at something. I did laugh at stuff, a lot of stuff, you know. Um, um, then my kids, you know, doing a candlelight vigil or memorial with the kids so that they could all express their own grief and their memories about my sister, their aunts, you know, and stuff like that. And it was, it was so cool. And uh, even my landlady checked on me, my neighbor checked on the kids in my upstairs, gave them some food and stuff. And um, well, you know, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, family was up group and, you know, but above all myself, I was determined to, to beat it, not let, not let the grief take me down grief because um, I really felt my sister's life could have been different. Uh, she'd been through so much and everything. And just when I thought she had really recovered, it just happened, bam, brain aneurysm and stuff. And, uh, you know, she had once had a mental health challenge and I also live with post-traumatic stress disorder. So I know how much stigma is there attached to mental health. And I didn't want her to fade into oblivion like that. And I didn't want, I don't let stigma get to me at all. So whatever I'm doing, I'm just like, this is it. And nobody can shame me for that and stuff like that. So I did share that also on the Global Mental Health Pain Network. There was just such tremendous support from there. And then Walpole's in the Ambassadors Group because I'm a Walpole's Ambassador. And um, yeah, some a few people even reached out on me, reached out to me on LinkedIn because I shared it there in a professional kind of way. You know, I just like the way that place is professional. <laughs> so that is it. Um, so the past two segments on Tuesdays have been about me, my grief, and now coping. And next week, I'm going to resume with um, Therapist Mark segment. So I'm not going to invite anybody to kind of reach out to me to book a session for what? To learn how to grieve or learn how to cope with your grief. <laughs> I don't know. It's very personal. The stages are not even like A, B, C, D, E for everybody. It just turns around and stuff like that. So um, just try your best, you know, if you are grieving, grieve as long as you need to there's no time frame i can say i'm formally ending today it doesn't mean that i'm not going to grieve sometimes it just gets to you like yesterday morning i got up ready to go out um walk out and stuff and then i just felt like no go back to bed my body and stuff I, the first time i really slept like seven hours or six and a half hours was last night you know and uh, so i think that it's all coming back and I'm so grateful. And I decided to do this video just after working out so that you really see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm so grateful um, for the weight I lost, for the, for, for the way I feel now and all the support and um, all I'm doing, you know, to live my purpose, knowing that that is um, the end to it all for each and every one of us. So I think uh, making the most of your one shot at life is what's important okay so um on see tuesday or friday for your segment of keeping it real we see how it goes right and um happy tuesday everybody have a wonderful wonderful um continuation of your week right and yeah god bless us all and so that's how i coped and that's how you know how i feel and feel and felt and well you just do what you have to do and what helps you, right? Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.